Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, I just wanted to share a couple dreams that I've had just the past few days. Um, so a few days ago, I fell asleep on the couch and I had a dream while sleeping on the couch of, a, of an angel standing watch over me. And then it went into where my husband and son were sleeping. And then it came back to where I was sleeping. I had a strong sense of it protecting us. And I woke up suddenly and I looked around but didn't see anything. But I still felt a very strong presence of protection. Well, I shared this dream on our brother Patrick's channel on YouTube. And he said upon awakening that, that morning, he had a, a scripture that was in his mind. And it was um, Psalms 34, 7. Um, but I'd like to read um, Psalms 34, 3 through 8, because I think this dream also kind of connects to all of that. So I'm going to read that. So Psalms 34, 3 through 8. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and he saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And then last night, I had a dream. I had a dream of three beautiful men, but I know that in the dream they were actually angels, but they look like men. Um, and they were standing outside of a long building, and the building had three doors. There was one of these angels in front of each door. Then I saw oil come down from the top of the building and it poured onto the ground. The angels were looking at me and I had a sense of um, very strong protection to guard these three doors. And so that was that dream. So I wanted to read a few scriptures in that. And this is uh, Exodus 23, verse 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in, in thy way and to bring thee into the place where I have prepared. And then Isaiah chapter 26. Um, verse 17 through 21. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pangs, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, we have as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they arise, awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth, for their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. And then um, John chapter 10, verse 3 through 4. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. So those are the dreams and, and some scriptures that I feel the Holy Spirit is saying there's a connection with. 
Um, and interestingly, not long ago, I have a earthquake app on my phone and I, I knew several days ago, just by watching where the earthquakes were, I just felt in my spirit, something was getting ready to happen around California. Um, so about at 11 17, um, this morning, there was a 6.3 earthquake in the Gulf of California and it was 10 kilometers deep. And that was followed by another one at 11.28 this morning, and it was 4.2, 16 kilometers deep. So everyone just look up because our redemp redemption draweth nigh and stay strong in the Lord. Pray, repent, seek him, stay close to him. I love you all.